Hello everyone, welcome back to Anbus Hobbies. This is going to be a short video on how we can connect to Apache ActiveMQ with the help of uh, Apache Camel and Spring Boot framework, right? So this, um, let's jump into the video. Uh, as the first step, uh, we have to include the Apache Starter Artemis uh, dependency. This is going to be the ActiveMQ dependency that we that will you know help us to connect to the ActiveMQ. And uh, one more dependency is a camel JMS. So these two dependencies we have to add along with the last uh, video project, the project which we, uh, we developed in my last video. So this will help to consume messages uh, through the Java messaging system. And this will configure the dependencies to connect to the Apache um, ActiveMQ, right? So, and uh, I have started the uh, ActiveMQ Artemis in, um, from this uh, docker image so if you have docker desktop you can just download this image and then run it while running you just have to give the port 6161 and then um, 8161 just the default ports that you have to just configure and the password is going to be artemis and artemis uh, the username and password is going to be artemis and artemis right and uh, if you look at here i have the console up and running um, it's in my local host 8161 i can disconnect here and see my queues and see here the addresses you can see here so yep that's the consumer queue of this I just uh, you know, ran the project that, that created the queue for me uh, let's uh, go into the project and see what I've done right so in the uh, application YAML you just need to create two properties um, to connect if you are running in the application the um, uh, ActiveMQ in your local you don't need to provide the broker URL else you need to provide the broker URL where ActiveMQ is hosted in right so that you can connect to the ActiveMQ and with this username and password and give it and there is also one more property called embedded so if you have the embedded server along with this service uh, you can also provide the dependency in the format XML and make sure that that is embedded to this um, uh, service so that it will be started along with uh, the service Okay, but we are, we are just uh, we are just using the Docker image to run the Apache ActiveMQ uh, Artemis, the uh, broker. But and we don't need this because already the uh, implementation provided by the default uh, value those will be those will be referring to the local host um, 8161, right? And we don't need the broker wall for now. And apart from that, I have configured um, two properties for one for the consumer queue, one for the receiver queue. Um, um yep i can give that as a receiver queue so what uh, what's going to happen is uh, in our router i've given um, from as the consumer queue so if you look at here i'm just mentioning that uh, consume it from here and then process it and post it to the next uh, route here and uh, from there it'll read the body and i don't think this is needed um, this is not a file this is a processing message the content will be shown here and then uh, it will be sent to the processor where it will update the value uh, from world to undo money I guess and then that will be printed right so uh, I've started the application it's already running so let me restart this uh, service yep the application is started now let me go ahead and post a message into the broker where I can go in here and click on send message and type hello world and let me send the message here and it should be received here see here whatever i sent it received the message and it processed it is started processing the content and process read the message body and it has been updated uh yeah i think uh, yeah the message has to be in let me see the processor how it is processing it yeah, I think it needs to be uh, it's been uppercase. Let me do it again. Hello world. And now it should update my name using the processor. Yeah, see here it is it has been updated. So I didn't have a ignore case or anything. So that's why it is behaving weird. But that's all fine. Like we we are able to connect to the um, queue. Let me post the message to the next um, uh, queue, right? So then what I'll do is after processing and I'll say to I'll say produce a queue, right? And this is going to be from here, so it will be the produce queue. 
right let me restart the service so that it will create the queue as well so if you look at here in Artemis you don't have um, the console in console we don't have the queue created for now so once the service is restarted you'll be able to see the queue created right so whatever message we post we can able to see that in here in the other queue right and uh, if we have any other service that should um, that should consume that can consume the message from the respective queue let's wait for the application to start the application is started so I'm going to post the message Hello world. Send the message. Yep. It should it should have been received by the producer. Let me go ahead and refresh this. See if you see here it had created the queue for us. And we can go ahead here and then see the message. Browse queue. So the queue has it should have yeah see here it has one message that is called Anbu, hello Anbu money so that is posted now and then the subsequent microservice can consume this message and process it further right it's just an example I uh, hope this video is helpful for you guys uh, if you have any questions you can uh, put it in the comment I can respond back and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, we'll see you in the next one thank you